we can't hear because our ears are not trained. Our ears are not trained to hear. First Samuel chapter three was one is a, a three, chapter three is a good example because Samuel heard God's voice, and he went to Eli and said, "Ah, did you call me, sir?" No, I didn't. He heard. Hey. He didn't hear a pastor's voice. He heard God calling him, Samuel. Samuel. And he goes to Eli saying, hey, Uncle, did you call me? Why? Because his ears didn't, is not trained to understand God's voice. The training of the ears. What is happening right now is you're being trained right now. You're being told that you have a speaking God. So right now, you need to know, if you don't know that this is how God speaks, you, 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 will, you will hear him and not recognize him. This is how you learn. You're training yourself, saying, listen, God speaks. God is a speaking God. Training our ears is what causes us to have distinct clarity that when God speaks, we will not miss. We hear according to the proportion of our faith. It is very important for us to understand. You can hear God and yet not recognize him because your faith, the proportion of your faith, your capacity of your faith, your level of your faith is very less. So you hear very less. How much we think we can hear from God will determine how much you hear from God. Some of us, we don't believe that we hear. Pastor, but I don't hear anything. Oh, really? You asked, but you weren't paying attention. You asked, but you didn't wait to hear. You asked, but you're, you, even though you, you're convinced yourself that you have faith that God will speak and God, but no, you didn't wait. Because that's the true reflection of the faith. True reflection of faith is not what you think you believe. Because Christians are very good at convincing ourselves that we have faith. If you did, you will see results. If you didn't see results, don't blame it on theology. Just have the humility to say, I don't have faith. You can either be upset that your pastor said that you don't have faith. Or you can say, God, increase my faith so I can hear in a higher dimension. I'll give you an example. Some people, we have, we, we have the capacity to hear God. So what we do, we're like, let's close our eyes. Dear Jesus, we come to your presence. We ask you that you will speak to us. And I pray that you would hear us. And we're trying to hear heart. And we get something here and there. And then we are in the market, there's chaos happening everywhere. And he's like, guys, I want to hear God, but can, can everybody get silent so I can tune and have the atmosphere? Do we need an atmosphere to hear from God? No. It's according to the proportion of our faith. Your faith said that there was too much confusion happening around you, so your level of your capacity of faith is not strong enough for you to be among chaos and still pick up the voice of God. You're, you're very afraid that you will be wrong. All the more moments when you, there's great danger or great loss or great anxiety, then our capacity to hear God becomes even more restrained because there's so much fear now. If you're depending on your emotions, you will always be derailed. But when you come to perfect rest, you hear better. And that is why times when, when, when you are resting, when you're going into sleep, when your heart is silent, your mind is silent, when your, your spirit is tuned and you're soaked and you've immersed and you're not in a rush, that's when you hear God better.